Well, we are not even to Thanksgiving yet, but a local nonprofit that helps thousands of local families in need is already collecting toys and donations. And now the Marine Corps Toys for Tots program is getting a big boost from a Spokane brewery. Grem 2's Kyle Simchuk is live in the newsroom tonight with more on the fundraiser and how much it's needed. Kyle? Well, just to give our viewers an idea of how great the need is, last year, Toys for Tots Spokane handed out 29,000 toys to 8,000 kids just here in Spokane. No Lie Brewery wants to make sure they have enough toys again this year. All day long, people kept pouring in. So we started at 12 today, had a line start at 1130, and it's kind of been just steady all day. Yeah, it's been fantastic. Pallets stacked high with cases of hard seltzer kept shrinking. No Lie employees were busy handing out cases of their Huckleberry Lemonade hard seltzer for 25 bucks a pop, but the brewery isn't keeping any of that money. There's obviously an immediate need for children eating toys. Their goal is to raise $15,000 for Toys for Tots and $10,000 for Spokane Quarantine, a nonprofit which has helped keep restaurants open and stomachs full throughout the pandemic. Well, any event for a great charity, Toys for Tots, something like that, will come in any time. It doesn't matter what the weather is. Don Gardner and Forrest Nagel stop by with their motorcycle club and had just enough room to bring home a case each. No problem. By 6 this evening, No Lie had sold 475 cases, raising $11,750. We're going to try to raise another 10 tomorrow and hopefully five on Friday. Yeah, it's been awesome. And the brewery will be selling those cases again tomorrow and Friday afternoon. No Lie is also throwing in a free pint glass and Gonzaga shirt to sweeten the deal.